All right, first off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash, the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing us to do another video through Spirit, the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth of the worms, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the whole elect. We want to get into this lesson going on the uh, lines that this this truth and this knowledge and the message of the Bible was never written to the heathens. It has nothing to do with them. It was never meant for them. They have no part of it. Just like our forefathers said, actually get Nehemiah 4 and verse 2. This Bible, this book, even though it, you can buy it worldwide, and buy it in multiple different languages It is only written For the children of Israel Just like the temple was only for the children of Israel This knowledge The sacrifice which our Lord made Which is Yahweh Shai Who the world England called Jesus Christ Is all for the Israelites It's not for any other nation Get that real quick You said Nehemiah 4 and 2 Yep It's Nehemiah uh, verse, uh, Chapter 4 verse 2 it says and he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, Look. Which are the heathens, the armies of Samaria at that time were the heathens that dwelt in the land that were the or the so called northern kingdom was, but was cast out. Now those armies of Samaria were heathens. Go ahead. It said, What do the what do these feeble uh, Jews? It says with with they Fortify themselves Will they sacrifice Will they make an end in the, in the day Will they revive The stones out of Of the heaps Of the rubbish Which are burned yeah. It says now to Tobiah the Ammonite Was by him and He said even that which they Build if a fox Go up he shall even Break down their stone wall basically talking shit they were talking shit against against what we were what we were building actually i think it's uh it could be in there but the heathens who it, this is actually good to to get to because it shows that the heathens were talking shit but what what were they saying at first i think it's go to ezra 4 ezra 4 and verse 2 Yeah, Ezra 4 and 2. Okay, this, uh, uh, this is Ezra 4 and 2. It says, Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the to the Start at 1. Start okay. This is Ezra 4 and 1. It says, Now when the adversaries of Judah and The enemies, Benjamin, the heathens, just like it showed in that Nehemiah 4 and, and 2. Go ahead. It says, Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity built up the temple unto the Lord, our power of Israel. It says, Then they came to Jerubabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the day of Ashur. Ashur. No. Yeah, Ashur. Ashur Don. Oh, okay, Ashur Don, king of Ashur. Which brought us up hither. Which was dealing with when the northern kingdom, like 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 we just went over. I'm going to do, reiterate it. Those are the heathens that were in the land of Samaria. They tried to come and build with with with, with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, because you know Levi had to be there because Ezra is a, a Levite. He descends from from Levi. He's a priest. I believe. If I believe, uh, let me just prove that real quick. Let me just go to it. Uh, I don't say it right there But nonetheless You know Levi was there Because those are the ones That were left over Even though it says Judah and Benjamin Levi of course was there also But as it's Look what Zerubbabel And, and uh, Jeshua is going to say Okay this verse 3 It says But Zerubbabel And Jeshua And the rest of the chiefs Of the fathers of Israel Said unto them Ye have nothing to do with us uh, nothing to do with us to build and house unto our power, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord 
the Lord our power of Israel, as King Cyrus, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, have commanded us. Yep. Get uh Saint John four, and it leaves around thirteen. So would it Zerubbabel and the chief priests of Israel and the chief men of Israel say to the heathen, said, Y'all have nothing to do with this. This building, this this what we're doing has nothing to do with it, do with y'all. Just like this ministry that now has gone global, as vocab has said. Now has gone through the four corners of the earth. It has nothing to do with y'all, and 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 now y'all trying to tear down and destroy it and mess it up. But that's because you're not a part of it. You will not ever be a part of Israel. You aren't a part of the promises nor the covenants that the heavenly Father made with the children of Israel, nor the sacrifice which Yahweh Shai made. Yahweh Shai died for the children of Israel. It's that simple. The one you call Jesus did not, did not die for the entire inhabitants of the earth. He died for the world of Israel. And that's it. And this temple, this spiritual temple, is being rebuilt off of, off of the Lord rebuilding and reestablishing the children, the children of Israel as the rightful rulers of the planet Earth. You heathens and you other nations, and especially you Edomites, have nothing to do with what we're doing. You are, you are, ex you were not even excommunicated because someone at, at that is excommunicated used to be a part of it you've never been a part of it you've never been a part of it you've never been accepted by the by the heavenly father Yahweh you, you were never a part of this so you're not even excommunicated you're just you're just nobody you were never a part of this and you will never be a part of this and the sacrifice was our Lord made was for Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And if you niggas, you punk-ass niggas, also want to get your panties in a bunch about the so-called white man not being saved, fuck you niggas. May you burn in, in, in the nuclear missile, not in the everlasting flames of hell like you retards believe in. Get, get that uh, John 4 and start at, uh, start at 9. Alright, this John 4 and verse 9 reads it says uh saith and then saith the woman of samaria unto him how is it how is it thou being a jew ask of drink of me which i'm a woman of samaria it says for the jews have no dealings with the samaritans why why did the jews have no dealings with the samaritans why why did she say that the Samaritans, just in going back to Ezra, then they those are the same people that asked to build the temple with them, showing there's no, they don't deal with each other. Those those are heathens. They got kicked out. They got put in the land after the so-called Northern Kingdom got casted out. Keep going. It says, "How uh, shall I answer and say unto her, if thou knowest the gift?" Of Yahweh, and who is it that uh, says to thee, "Give me to drink"? It says, "Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water." Yes, showing she didn't know shit. She didn't know nothing. She didn't just fucking woman, a heathen woman. She didn't know. She didn't. She ain't know nothing. She she wasn't a part of it. That's why Yahweh shot told her this. And even further to the point which we're going to get where it says uh, neither in this mountain nor in, in that. Let me find that actually. Yeah, I think it's you can jump down to verse 22. Right. No, 21 actually. It's John 4 and 21. It says Yahweh Shah said unto her woman, believe me the hour cometh Start at uh, 19, actually. Okay, this um, John 4, 19 says, The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. It says, Our father worshipped in this mountain. He say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. He said, How shall I say unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither when he shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem work he says um, worship the worship the father 
He says, ye worship, ye worship, ye know not what. It says, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Yep, salvation is for who? The Israelites. Salvation, even Yahusha said it out of his own mouth to a heathen, talking about she worships the same power as as uh, as him. And he said, look, bitch, bitch. You don't know what you worship. We know what we worship because salvation is for the Jews. And when it says that, it's meaning all Israel, not just meaning Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. It's for all Israel because Yahusha died for all Israel. It's not just for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi because Yahusha said also, I have uh, those that I must gather, which are not of this flock, meaning those that weren't there in the land at the time. But what? They were accepted through Yahweh Shai. You, you, you heathens will never be a part of this. You will never, you'll be a part of it in slavery. You'll be at the bottom and we'll be at the top, just like it is now. You're at the top, we're at the bottom. And that's a okay because that's prophecy. The Lord said that will happen. The Lord said this is what's going to go down. You're gonna be at the. You're gonna. You're, you're gonna. You're, you niggas gonna go off, and you're gonna be at the bottom. Then, then the heathens gonna be on above you, and then it's gonna come a time where I'm gonna flip it back to what it's supposed to be. Y'all gonna be on top, and the heathens are gonna be on the bottom. Get uh verse twenty three also. Okay, it says, um, but the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. But the father's father seeketh such to worship him. Which is the elect. And, and why did he say, and now is because salvation was brought forth through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was that salvation and the way back unto the father. Because what? We didn't have a way back unto the heavenly father through sacrifice. Yahweh Shai had to be that sacrifice. And now he was there. And he was going to do what he needed to do that so we can be brought back. When I say we, I mean the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We can be brought back unto the Heavenly Father by the way of the new covenant or the new testimony through Yahweh Shai. Because that first covenant, he was done away with. The Lord did away with that first covenant. The law, the law of sacrifice. Not the law entirely, but sacrifice. You being, your sins being forgiven through the way of killing an animal because somebody had to die. Something had some blood had to be shed. Get that get that Hebrews eight. Start at five. Okay. It's Hebrews eight and verse five it says Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things as Moses was was uh, uh banished uh, uh, what is this? Where you at? right here. Abolish. Abolish. Yeah. Let me go to it. Um, where you at? Hebrews. Hebrews 8 and 5. Yeah. Okay, it says, who served unto the... Start at first 3, actually. Okay, it's Hebrews 8 and 3. It says, for every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices, wherefore it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. It says, for if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. It says, who served unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, and Moses was abonished. It says, abonished of Yahweh when he was about to make the, the tabernacle. For, for see, said he, that though make all things according to the pattern, show to thee in the mount. Yep. Because what? Well, let's go. Let's go say it because it's coming up. Because all those things which Adam, I mean, not Adam, <laughs> which Moses, uh, which Moses made, uh, were just a shadow of things to come. There were there was something greater which was to come, which was straight from the heavens, which was Yahweh shot. He literally, he's, he's in the mercy seat, which was made on earth and had to, and that sacrifice had to be done on earth through the high priest. But what? Now we have someone who's literally there because what, what? 
it was based off the pattern which Moses seen in the heavens. When Moses, the tabernacle, the temple, all that was made off of the pattern which he seen in the heavens. And now we have we have a access to the to the greater way through Yahweh Shai. Because he's literally up there and now we have access to that through him. Because on earth, we didn't have access to that greater way. We only had it through the earthly, but now we have it through the spirit, which is Yahweh Shai. He was that greater way and that greater path. It was all just a shadow of things to come, which was which was what we have now, which is how we inherit this the great truth through Yahweh Shai. Keep going. It's verse six. It and, says, and that first, who was that first four? Who was the blood sprinkled on? The children of Israel wasn't sprinkled on the mixed multitude, which are heathens. It was only sprinkled on the children of Israel. Okay, keep going. It's verse six. Yep. It says, but now have he or, or obtained yep. a more excellent ministry. Yep. By how much also he is he is the mediator yep. of a better covenant. Which was established upon better promises. Which was established upon better promises. Which was what? We being able to be delivered sac through the sacrifice what Yahweh Shai made. Because he's in the mercy seat with the Heavenly Father. He's there. He can he can go before the Heavenly Father. Literally face to face. And speak with him and say, Lord, forgive him. And he, and he does it rather than the high priest going in once a year. And doing the whole sacrifice and and him uh you know doing the sacrifice uh killing the lamb and you know the sins of israel being forgiven and then we fuck up again <laughs> it, none of that is necessary anymore because we have yahweh shai and yahweh shai can can get rid of people's sins he can forgive you of your sins that's why the jews man that's a whole that's a whole nother topic that's why the jews were so like amazed like who is this man who can say their sins are forgiven? He can't do that. But Yahweh Shai can do that. He can do that. Because he, a greater way was set up through him to bring us back unto the Heavenly Father. Because what was that first covenant even supposed to do? It was supposed to be our, our connection with the Heavenly Father. What does is, what is, uh, Levi mean? Loyal, join unto me. That was our connection to Yahweh. But the Lord got rid of that and brought a new way in a new, uh, uh, a new, a new battery pack, <laughs> a new way to connect with Him, which is through Yahweh Shai. Yep, you go on. It says this you niggas this. don't get it, man. You you Christians, you you fucking Christians are retarded. It's verse seven. It says, "For if that first covenant had been faultless, uh, then should no place have been sought." Right, right there says it all. For if the first covenant was faultless, if we were able to keep it, there would be no talk of heathens making it. Because there would have been no going off, there would have been no breaking the law. We would, we would be all set. But now since the now since the, the way was opened up to Jake that was going off, these motherfucking heathens think they can y'all think y'all can slide y'all goofy asses in there. You can't. If the first covenant was made faultless, there would have been no need for the second. Showing that the second is only for the same people. It's not for everybody. It didn't open up to everybody. Now through Jesus, we can be saved. No. Now through Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus, Israel can be saved. Israel can be brought back to the Heavenly Father. Yashar Allah, the sons of God or the princes of the power can be brought back to that great immortal state which they fell from. You goofy motherfuckers. You motherfuckers are stupid, man. And you really, you, it's not, it's not y'all, y'all, y'all just, y'all not, y'all weren't meant to get it. The heavenly father put them blinders on you. You dumb niggas that don't get it. You niggas wasn't meant to get it either. It's one, four, four. Yes, that's all. It, it, y'all, it's not that y'all really don't, because hey, some of y'all can be smart in other things. <laughs> but when it comes to this Bible, you don't know nothing, man. You you don't get it. Keep going. Uh, it says, um, this verse seven. It says, for if if the first covenant had been, oh, okay, I'm yep, you, you, the first you. covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the, for the second. It says, for finding fault with them, he saith, who's the them? 
The children of Israel. Go ahead. Okay. It says, The day is coming, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It says, Not according to the covenant that I have made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Which is dealing with what? The Old Testament, that old covenant, that old contract. Now we have a new contract through Yahweh Shai. And that is established on greater promises. Oh, that's somebody else. Uh, that is established on greater promises for who? The children of Israel, man. And, that, and that's it. You got anything? Okay. Yeah, we're going to close off then. So with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful life. That shalom.